Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach how to use Adobe Premiere, at least the basics, okay? Check the other videos to see the other features and another software. Check this out. So first thing we are going to open the software, okay? And then we are going to choose a new project, okay? We have here this first window, time code, we can choose frames, feet. We are going to use time code, okay? And then we are going to choose HDV. I'm going to use this folder to save the seconds, okay? And okay. So, this is another window. Uh, it's like uh, the sequence we are going to choose, okay? Is how big the video is going to be and how it's going to work or workspace okay so we are going to choose this is standard one okay it's a random one it's pretty good it's the same i always use for my videos then we are going to press okay so now we are here we have here the second one the one we choose with time codes here here we have the minutes, okay. Here we have the tracks. So basically, basically the tracks, the lines, and they work like layers. Looks like the Photoshop, okay. And the video is the same. Here we have to view or to hide. To listen, not use, okay. So we are going to import something let's see I'm going to choose a random video of myself here okay the importing then I have here okay if I press two times it's going this in this window okay so how works the workspace here this weird software okay so basically this one is where we see all the information about the things we are using in the video okay so here we are going to put videos we are going to put i'm going to put here music uh, okay and then they look they have different looks, okay? This is a video, they have music, then this one I just have the music. So we have if we press two times, it's going to appear here. Here we have effects control, like every effect the the object is going to be is going to appear. I'm going to use another thing here. Uh, I'm going to use the Brazilian flag also, okay, it's a PNG, so first thing, I click two times here, okay, and then it's going to appear here. We can use these lines to see the video, okay. And then this is going to be our video here, our timeline of work here. So everything is here. So now I need to put this way, okay? So when I when I bring the, the video to here, when I bring this video to here, ask me if I'm going to change of the clip settings I'm going to change because I want the the same I was using to record my another one this is an old one I created my cell phone okay so I'm going to change and look at it automatically it was bigger okay so it's easier for you to record with a different camera okay so now we have 
our full video here, okay? But I don't know, let's say if you click, you can cut a little bit, okay? And we have this ruler here. We can, we can have zoom in and zoom out, okay? So basically now our video has four minutes. And this, this uh, gray line here is the size of the video. So now I'm going to bring the music. Look at this. Don't allow me to use in the video. I need to put down here in the audio, okay? Don't worry if you use the two or the three. You choose, okay? We have these buttons here and we can expand and make bigger, okay? So I'm going to use the volume here for you guys to see. When I'm going to move here, it's going to change and I'm going to show the music. So it's the both audios here, my audio of my video and what is in my music. Okay. Let's say we need to put the volume lower or higher. We are going to use the audio again, okay? We are going to click with the right button and audio again. And you can put minus, uh, minus uh, 15, okay? Let's see what's going to happen. You can see it's lower now, okay? You need to pay attention when you are working here in the video for your sound don't go bigger than your video, okay? Because this ruler here goes at always with everything you put like this. Look at this. We are going to have a black space over there. Okay? So now we already know how to use the workspace. I'm going to teach some uh, tips, okay? So we have this keyframe here. We can add. So I'm using this one. I put a keyframe over here and then I'm going to put another one over here. And then we have this yellow line. If I put down here, look what happens. So the music is playing, okay, normal. And then when hit the keyframe, it's going down, okay, down, down, down. It's going into zero decibels perfect so now we know how to use the ball let's say i don't like this part here in the video i'm going to click i'm going to click in the keyframe here and then i'm going to click another time over here and then another time over here and then another time over here over here and over here then we are going to put down here until zero so the video is playing my voice here and then just music the music in the audio 2 and then goes back for audio 1 okay so we are editing and we don't want the music because we are editing the voices and another noise we can just click here so no more music don't forget to put back because you can do a big mistake for I already did this. So here in, in the objects we have this tab. We have motion, we can change the position, scale, uniform scale, rotate, have the opacity, we can change the time remapping, okay? So the speed we are going to hit the yellow line down and it's going to make the video faster 179% and look at that. but don't forget about your audio, okay? you need to unlink to do this because your audio is going to have the same speed so you need to take care about the speed about the audio so I'm going to choose. I'm going to teach now how to use 
going to use here the Brazilian flag, okay? Let's use like this, okay? So we have the flag and we are going to click here and we are going to use the opacity, okay? And then we are going to add a keyframe over here, another one over here in the beginning and then we are going to use the zero position over here and then 100% okay so let's see how it is done let's show up and then we are going to make this appear done. but let's say we are we are going to make bigger time so we can select the wolf here and then we press shift and then we just bring to so this way to make uh, the line straight okay so we are going to use here a motion I scale and then we are going to click here in the flag and then we are going to Play a little bit Okay So it's making the keyframes automatic Let's see how it is now so The light show up And then goes bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller and Perfect. And then let's say we need to some motion. Okay. The position now. We are going to make all these effects and then we are going to choose. So the flag is going to be here in the beginning and then it's going to appear over here. And then look at this, creates like a grid face. Go here, and then go there, and then here. So let's see how it goes. So that's it. We learned basically everything. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and check the other videos. Okay, thank you so much.